Guys, what's going on? Welcome back. If you're watching on YouTube, memberships are now live. So if you're on YouTube and that's your preferred way to support my content, I have three different tiers. I have a $2 tier, which is the lowest. Um, you will get, uh, if I do any exclusive videos on YouTube, you can, you can get access to those with the $2 tier. I want to make sure that was available to everyone. I may not do them a ton, but if I do, this is what we'll get. There's a $5 tier, which just like Twitch, uh, will get you access to the subscriber discord channel and also the, uh, exclusive videos. And there's a $10 tier for those who just want to support with a little bit more. It's just another, another option. And, uh, the $10 tier also gives you instant access to the videos instead of having, like if I, as soon as I upload things, you'll have access to videos rather than when I schedule them. So if I schedule a week in advance, you'll get all those videos as soon as I upload them rather than when I schedule them. And, uh, also the other two below that. So. If you guys are watching on YouTube and you've been looking for a way to support without having to go to Twitch, that's a way to do it. So uh, definitely check those out. Really appreciate it. Again, it's the membership, and uh, you can check those out on YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore. This is a deck that we saw, that Rob saw on the internet, and he showed it to us. And it's using quite a few new cards. We have one Tomic. Why I started with Tomic, I don't know. Because they want to talk about So Tiny, because that's kind of boring, and we all know what it does, and it's like, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah. So you got two, two So Tinies, an, an enchantment, worth noting. One Tomic. Um, I don't actually know the value of this yet. Birth of Miletus. Search library for basic land, put it on a play, create an 0-4, and gain two life. So kind of like... Wall of Omens, as we said in our set review. Uh, four of those. Four Minimize Prophecy, which is like kind of like a Divination. So we have two, uh, you know, two basic blue and white staple cards uh, that are tacked onto Sagas, Divination and uh, Wall of Omens. Both enchantments as well. Four Banishing Light, also enchantment. Two Thirst for Meaning, which makes you discard an enchantment, which is great. Four Teferi for obvious reasons. Three Archons of Sun's Grace. This is a card I liked a lot. I thought I would see some play. Uh, Rob disagreed, and he thought I, he liked good cards, and I didn't like good cards, and uh, now it's seeing play immediately. Shatter the Sky, two of them. We don't control any creatures without four or greater, so we're probably not going to trigger this too frequently, but... Uh, uh, it's still a four mana wrath, so. Elspeth Conquers Death. This card is also great. You exile a permanent. Their stuff costs more, and then you get a guy back for free. I guess if we're getting back our Archon of Sun's Grace, then, uh... Or, or our Dream Trawler, then we do have a creature with four or, or greater power. So we, this, you know, this would trigger now. This to the Shadow of the Sky. Two Time Wipe as well, so we have four Board Wipes. And one Kiora Bests the Sea God, which is just great. This card is great. Oh, also, we didn't actually talk about the Dream Trawler, which is one of my favorite cards from the new set. There's also a ridiculous amount of lands, I think, like 26 lands. That's a good amount. Which is just like four hollowed, four, temp four temple. That art's great. Uh, two Tranquil Cove, one and one of each castle, along with seven and seven. So pretty even land distribution. Thank you. Two more so tiny in the sideboard. Primaris, thanks so much, Larissa, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, what up, Brett? Uh, three Hushbringer, two Revoke, one more Tomic in the sideboard, three Dovin's Veto, one Elspeth, one more Shatter, one Ashok's Erasure, and one more Elspeth Conquers Death. So, I'm going to give this a shot. We'll see if this deck's any good. Like I said, Rob sent this to us. I'm pretty sure this was this deck was, uh, you know, trending, trending as it were. Thank you. Something's happening. Unseen Spectre, thank you so much for the reset. What's going on, buddy? I'm all right. Got some Burger King. I got an impossible offer for lunch. I will play first. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll keep this. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you need in this deck. I don't know what you're definitely looking for, but uh, Sand seems good. Teferi is just mostly, most of the time, Teferi is a cantrip, or you know, it's a, obviously a very good tempo play. Bounce your thing. Feel good about it. 
Surprised you didn't get it on the MTO, MTGO Theros draft early. Oh, I've been packing to move, so my weekend and my, my days have been pretty pretty stressfully busy. Unfortunately. Is it my turn? No, okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, what am I waiting for here? You got me. I do like this, uh... I do like this beautiful elk sleeve. Thanks, Nip. Appreciate it. Uh, Brett, we do have the place sorted out. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, bottom. Man, that was, uh, that was a whole to-do. How's the move prep going? It's fucking exhausting, dude. I just keep throwing stuff out. I'm like, I don't need this. I'm getting rid of like glasses and cut and plates and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't need these things. Like, it's funny because <coughs> ever since I've gotten this water bottle, I haven't used a single cup in the house. So I'm just like, why do I need 14 cups or, you know, eight cups or however many cups I have, you know? Tranquil code. Like, the amount of stuff is just never-ending. I guess we'll just play big Tefs here. It's little Tefs. Oh, what up, little Tefs? I think I counted this. Are they negating it? And little Tef again. Can we can we double Tef? Oh, that little Tef stuck. Hmm. Huh. I don't think this does anything against this deck, right? Well, that's probably worse. Yeah, keeping like four cups for guests makes total sense. No one is more prepared to hone your prowess. Ever since I first saw you like two years ago, I wanted to ask if you know what a lip I have no idea what that is now. I don't know why I don't know why I would know that. Let's try this. So they're just gonna Kai as a wrath if we play this, right? But like Foldable book. What? That's crazy. I'm so satisfied with this with this pet. Your last name is Lorello? That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> wow, what a wow, that's really that's really coincidental. That like that like Lapore and and Lorello is Lapore. <laughs> it's fucking. That's hilarious. I'm. I'm pleased. Oh, you're just gonna play this in town, my guy. I know my responsibility. Are these sound effects too loud, guys? They sound a little loud. This might be a bad idea. God, louder than me sounds terrible. Oh, 
Let's see if that's any better. Today, Junior. Oh, another time wipe. I've done the hero thing before. Well, let's talk about how awkward Narset is here. So she's pretty awkward here. I'll protect you. Wow, so our hand is draw three, which does nothing with Narset, and three board wipes. I've got it. That's terrible. Here goes nothing. That's a good one eventually. Uh, discard an enchantment card? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get rid of a land here. <coughs> they want to just replay Kefin, but that's fine. Hmm. They could bounce our banishing light. Let me just replay it, I guess. No, I am not making this up as I go. I have practiced against many I have just the trick for this. Oath of Kaya. This is an awkward matchup, I agree with you. Wow, they have to discard cards. That's something right there. Search lever for planes, put it into your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why would you use... I guess it doesn't matter. I got this. I 
I mean, they have to have a sweeper, otherwise they just give it hexproof, right? Got it. Pass. My turn. Yep, blue white control is correct. Monsonster is correct. All things are correct. Hold up here. All right, so we're gonna. This guy's gonna be a four five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just want to banishing banishing like the Narset again. Attack the Tefri. Oh, they're just gonna play thought. They're gonna play thought erasure on our on our main phase. For sure. Or our draw step, rather. <sighs> you got it. Thank you. A classic. Check two. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate you. Hmm. Interesting. using these timeouts like okay we're getting rid of this so that when we attack we can draw a card hmm that's pretty good thank you Mayhem, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, welcome back. That is awesome. I appreciate it. Yes, that, uh... Oh, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Seems fine. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's just keep it like that. Thank you! Actually, do I even want this? Not really. Yeah, if you're playing against Oko, you can just flip this upside down, and you're like, oh, cool, I got an elk token. Through there, thank you so much, Theresa, buddy. Really appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven cards. We have three cards. They have six cards. We have three cards. This is kind of like two more cards, though. <clears throat> this card seems hard to deal with, man. So we're drawing a card, then we're drawing two cards, then we're drawing a card. Then... So we get to draw like four cards this turn if this guy's... Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Let's see, Elspeth conquers death. Oh, I have to do it next turn? Oh, that's weird. That's weirdly worded. Or that's weirdly saga right? So, like... That's weird. Yeah, I would have just waited. Hmm. Okay. We live and learn. Why are those separate? Choose a card name when you cast a spell for the chosen... Like, it should be one, right? I don't understand why it's separate, but... I mean, maybe I'm just upset because I missed it, but, like, that's still weird to me. I mean, at least they're... Okay. This is all fine, because at least they're, uh... They're Kefnet's gone now, right? But aren't I still foretelling the spell if I name it and then I cast it anyway in the same turn? Like, I'm still foretelling it. It's just a shorter time span. Are they just going to keep killing my guy on, on my upkeep? That's predicting, not for... Oh, wow. The time span in between is relevant. I feel like they're lucky it taps, right? Oh, this isn't even legendary? Jeez. Well, now I wish I, I named something different, but here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I don't want to walk into a, a thing here, so I guess we're just passing. What does this do? Look at the top card of each player's library. That's that's it? That's not exciting. But I guess they have El they have Nar set out, so it doesn't really matter. Hone your prowess. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm I don't know what we're playing against here. Some kind of nonsense. Yep. <clears throat> That's a thing alright. Hold on. Basilica Bell Haunt. Oh, alright, and Hunter walks in and opens the door. Cool. Yep. That's a good one. Oh yeah, actually Elspeth is pretty good against this one specific turn they have Bolas' Citadel in play, jeez. Wow, that's convenient.
Might as well give Hexproof while I'm here. What do we return? So they have Thought Erasure as the top card? Sure. We have a Planes. That's not exciting. Choose one. Uh, I'll choose the counter. <laughs> That's weird. Pretty sure we're just in here. Bullets said that was pretty brutal. Man, failed passage off the top every time is pretty ruthless. Less than 15 minutes remaining in your match timer, you will concede if the magic is it me or them. What have I done? <laughs> What's their match timer? I don't feel like I've been taking that long, that's weird. It's really annoying. Oh, we have 22. Oh, that's theirs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Keep an open mind. Because I was like, man, I might as well just go to the next go to the next game then if my time is so low. But I was like, I don't think I'm taking that long. Basilica Bell Haunt times two off of a Bolus' Citadel when we have uh, Elspeth's plus two ability on play. It's like, well, cool, I guess. You hit two creatures, I have two cards in my hand. Both your creatures make me discard cards, so I guess I'm not really like. That's more like it. The problem is because they're so low on time, we have no incentive to concede this game because we're at 29 and they're at six. Why did their Why did their lands untapped? Did I miss something? Or were they never tapped at all? I don't know. So we could play around, I mean, both both our Dream Trawlers are in the graveyard, so there's no reason to play around having a Dream Trawler and being able to discard something for Hexproof. So I might as well just play this because they know about it, and if they have another Basilica Bell Haunt. We have, we have 10 more minutes on the clock than they do. Come on. I always have a plan. This has been 30 minutes so far. Like, this is game one. I hate, I hate these. I hate these two cards in standard more than anything. Just the 
trick for this. Good, another thought erasure. So if I draw anything whatsoever, I just don't get a turn, really. Well, that should definitely help here. Do we have a way to deal three damage? Not really. Secrets manifest before you. I mean, the blue-white deck really has very few ways to deal three damage. Oh, well, they didn't thought rush me here. That's fascinating. Don't they still live because of Citadel? What how what does that mean? I'll protect you. Maybe I don't know what it does, maybe not. Castle does make tokens, which is why we have a token in play. Sorry, I'm late. Aggressive. Yep. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Man, this this form I could really use a planar cleansing. Player cleansing is legal. However, I would be wrong because it is an M20. That's fascinating. Wow, oh, you don't do this last turn, but this turn you do. Hmm. Did you bounce something last turn? Cool. Did I make a guy? No, I made a guy during uh, combat. Convenient. Oh, they have another Narset in hand? Eh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're not winning this game uh, in any sort of fair capacity. Like, we're either going to hope they use all their time to kill us, and then... Is it a match timer or a game timer? I hope it's a match timer. I hope it's not like we start the next game with 25 minutes, because then I'll just concede here. That's more like it. Chad, appreciate it, buddy. You got it. Thank you. What's their library looking like right now? Eight cards. Seven cards. Whiff. Six, six cards. Truth Jesus. Lies beyond. 
vision. Wall of ice cream. Thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it, buddy. Wow, look at Xaxes. <coughs> what? Why aren't they killing us? Understand what's going on right now. I mean, we're dead on board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But they don't want it. No, you can sack it all to itself. 10 non land permanents. Here we go. Fabric of the multiverse obeys. Well, they have achievements to unlock, but they also have 7 minutes on the clock to our 20, so I would assume that uh, winning the match is probably more important, but what do I know? This is so weird that they're like letting the token take like 15 seconds to resolve. Coming in and before even saying hello, you mess up the car. Thanks. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, time wipe. Shatter the sky. Hmm. Elspeth seems decent here. Vito seems great. Erasure seems good. Tomic? I don't even know what the Tomic is for. <laughs> Opponents on IRL time wipe. Nice. Wow, this guy is. Yeah, they definitely. T -t -t Today, Junior. Good lord. This match is going to take like a friggin' hour. Oh, wow. I'm going to mulligan this hand because I don't think three Elspeth Conquers deaths is where we want to be. But maybe it is. Making fun of a kid trying to play magic. 
Oh, yeah, we can keep that. Oh, that seems great. Turn two that into turn four Elspeth. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Oh, yeah, wait, we're doing it. Elspeth is your new girl. What does that even mean? Oh, Lord. Um, I'm going to keep both of these. So next time we go Tranquil Cove into Elspeth. We'll name Elspeth. Just want to say best of luck with the move and resettling. Thank you to Exodus, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and the support you offer. Both emotional and subscriber-based. Oh, let's go Elspeth Sons Nemesis. Choose a card name. Uh, uh, okay. That's weird. It's like the one card that's not named here. <clears throat> All right, now we're foretelling the future, guys. Are you ready? Is it whenever you cast? Oh, so it doesn't have to resolve. That's pretty cool. I mean, they're going to veto it because they're shitlords. But still resolve. Still get the cards. Damage is done, my dudes. Yeah. Big surprise. Whatever. I can escape whenever I want to. Just want to say, oh, you, I read that one already. I was going to read that comment again. It's too late. It's already been done. It's all been done. All we want to do is draw an untap land, build a play this, and then, okay, well. Let's look at the top card of the libraries. Oh. <laughs> oh. Lord. Sure, my dudes. Sure. Hey, Frank, just want to say best of luck with the move and resettle. Oh, hey, thanks. Stefan, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, bud. Um, I guess we're just going to play this and keep up mana for the dreamy boy. Yeah, we're just gonna keep Tap on top for obvious reasons. <laughs> Spider-Man.jpg. Oh man, Goblin Nick. Always a pleasure, buddy. Always a pleasure. Hey Frank, just wanna say best of luck at the movie and reset. Man, you guys are great. Thank you so much. It's all been done. <sighs> Her gaining five life is negative three. That seems better. That seems. That seems worse than her negative two, right? I got a big fat bird. Well, I guess it's a sphinx, but who's counting? I'm gonna end the turn. I love that this card is rare and not mythic. This could easily be a mythic, but it ain't. Hey Frank, this is your move. Just wanted to say big fan. <laughs> oh, what up, move? Oh no. Oh, that's something. Two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Right on 
All right, well. Triple Elspeth Conqueror's Death is something. These are legendary, right? Oh, you got it, my dude. Just play your rider. You can have more than one saga? I don't think I've ever done that before. There he is. Look at you, boy. They have to win this game in three minutes, and we have 17 minutes on the clock. How do you waste this much time? Of, of another human being, even. It's all been done. Because they are historic, so I figured historic, legendary, same thing. But then artifacts aren't legendary, and they're historic. I mean, some are. Oh, History Benali, that's true. That's a good reference point. There are so many mysteries I mean, they're dead here, right? The Unless they hit a Dovin's Veto here, right? Oh, what's it gonna be? Okay, sure. That's actually fine. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. What do we got? We can get Trawler and Elspeth back. That's pretty cool. I don't think we need to play anything here. Six cards in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't want to actually do that because if we do that, we have no graveyard and this doesn't trigger. So, well, it triggers, but there's no target. So I'd rather just, I can wait a turn. I'm not going to throw this guy out there if they have, because Kaya's Wrath is the only thing that really deals with this. So they pretty much have to have a Kaya's Wrath. And if they do, I don't want to throw this guy out there as well. So, I got a 3D printer last week. So much fun! Now I just need a 3D printer. Frank, wow, that would that would be amazing. I don't even know how you do that. Chad, 3D printers are sweet. Cool. All right, pass. Okay, so they have a minute and 27 seconds, and they haven't conceded the match yet. Makes sense checks out we are at 50 minutes of this stream and uh is it my turn this is still on your turn no this is this is this is my turn yeah okay sure It's all been done. Have I thought about a way to break Nick's Bloom Ancient yet? Not even a little bit. It's hard to break a seven mana card because it costs seven mana. Like, you can do broken things when it's in play, but, like, the card inherently will never be broken because it just costs too much mana. Okay, we're just done here. They have 30 seconds and they're just bullshitting. Oh, lord. We can exact justice. Oh, Hunter's Dream. <laughs> the folk 
match. Maybe you should put some fucking win conditions in your deck. Do you ever think about that? Have you considered putting win conditions? And if you if you if your deck can't win fast enough if you can't win fast enough with your deck, maybe you put more win conditions. Turns out five twenty twenties are almost good as four twenty twenties. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to play it again. We're going to play this deck one or two more times, depending on time. Jesus, it's already been an hour. Like, we played it for, the match took an hour. And, and and we had 28 minutes on the clock still. <laughs> like, it's, it's hard to imagine, like, how you can take that much time. Like, if you're not comboing out, you're not doing, like, an infinite combo. Like, you're just literally playing a grindy Esper control deck. And, like, we're probably taking equally an equal number of, of game actions. Oh. Uh, this looks like what's known as a snapper, snapperina. It's all been done. Swamp Swamp, huh? Um, I'm going to bottom you. I'll probably keep Teferi number dose because it's just, come on. Come on, buddy. Everything's made from corn. We all know that. Choose a card name. So this turn we're going to play Banishing Light on the Woe Strider. What are we doing next turn? Probably playing Teferi for sure. Thank you. Oh, Dev, what's going on, my dude? Thanks so much for the resub. I appreciate you. Rat train. Send them on down to rat train. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> gonna get rid of island here we have birth of Melibus and Tefries and we're drawing two next turn I don't really want to bounce this guy though I'll be honest with you what if we bounce our own Tefri and then we put so tiny on this guy that seems real good right or not Tefri uh, if we bounce our own we bounce this thing Oh, we're so good at this game, dude. It's got flash, right? Okay. Oh, yes. This is why we waited. Not my Teferi. Oh, we don't have a land here. That's pretty brutal. No, I am not making this up as I go. Wow, that's a hell of a link, my dude. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Like, we can actually just play the other Teferi and bounce this guy. Scry two. Wait, 27 versus 28. All right, so we're now we're the slow, slow bees. <coughs> I think it's better. It guarantees a stream trawler next turn. Hmm. I'm 
think we're one of the birds. We don't even know three birth of Miletus. <laughs> we got in here just a Teferi, huh? I kind of like this getting rid of Dread Presence. Yeah, that seems like something we want to do. I'll sacrifice it instead. Sure. You got it. Sack my goat too. Okay. Well, they're really digging here. What about this fen fenlurker? Is that guy gonna be? Good lord. Jeez. Both Strider are doing some heavy lifting here, my dudes. Did they put that on top or not? I don't know, because there's no. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now it's gonna be a swamp. Man, Bolus of Citadel is the next great card in standard, I guess. Pretty sweet. So we could. I want to kind of want to bounce the bolus. I want to bounce my banishing light and play boluses and re. And what am I saying right now? I want to bounce the banishing light and replay it on bolus citadel. <clears throat> and then next turn we get to return a Teferi for funsies. We really have to get rid of the engine is the thing. It must have got some crazy shit in its net. Well, that's interesting. I like that I can't see this time. Does it say 26? I don't know. Hard to say. Let's make the time a color that, that is not visible on top of white cards. Oh, biscuits. Why does it make you choose? Like, what's the deal here? Get your scries on! Oof. Hmm. 
I want to play this land, so we're going to put that on the bottom. I actually don't want to bounce this because I just want to... Yeah, that's fine. We can actually play this guy and minimize Prophecy next turn, or we can play Dream Trawler. Oh yeah, sure, I guess because of Gideon you can choose counters. That actually makes sense. That's smart. Um, we're not going to play... What are we playing this turn? What, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have eight mana. Thank you! Satan's Fat Dong. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um... We'll just play Kiora's best best the sea god next turn. I probably just want to play this guy. It, it just seems like such a better card. Okay, wow, that's yep, that's all it took, I guess. Dream Trawler is the uh, the dude. Okay, uh, Shadow of the Sky seems good here. They have a bunch of nerds that don't really have four power. Tomic seems bad again. This Elspeth seems just fine. Like, I can just play this in the main deck. Everything else seems good. Yeah. It's funny how many hands are keepable because of Scrylands and, you know, the other thing. Yep. Just keep all the lands on top. Three. <laughs> the old three board wipes. This doesn't seem like a free-to-play deck, man. They got tons of rares. Um, yeah, you know what, I'll keep both of these. I'm a maniac. Oh yeah. You guys are really sending them on down to Rat Train here. I mean, there's no reason to play Tefri, right? I guess we'll go to 12. That's... Huh. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. So they get three one ones. I don't think I care about that really. This card seems great though. Two one ones, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's pretty fine. 
Thank you. Good girl, Jared. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna... We're definitely gonna kill more things now, so... You never expect the second shatter of the sky. Oh, we're drawing another bird and they're drawing a castle? Okay. One, two, three, there's seven cards. I don't think it's time wipe here. I think we're just shattering again. Send them all down to trash can. Have you ever gone outside and to call on the trash can? I'm actually really excited for this set because the cards seem sweet. One of the things I love about this set, which is really interesting, is that the power level is not all concentrated at mythic rares. There's a lot of really strong rares and even uncommons in the set where I'm just like, well, that's a cool. Okay. Wow. Jesus Christ. All decks are Bolas' Citadel decks. Yep, let's go to the next game. I'm pretty tired against playing decks with Bolas of Citadel for crying out loud. Like, I almost want to bring in this one revoke just for the Bolas of Citadel. The Elspeth doesn't seem great here. Hushbringer does actually seem pretty good here. Um, Whoa, Dragon Crackle. Yep, that's a target, all right. All right, not bad, not bad. Are you running the fast? Oh, no, this is my second match. So. Yep. Oh, of course. Never don't fucking have that.
guess we're dead. That was fun. I had a good time. Alright, let's see if we can go 3 for 3 in Bullets of Citadel decks. Also real tired. God, I've been exhausted the past week and a half. It's just been so stressful. Uh, keep. Like I'm just in this constant state of either tiredness or like wanting to get stuff done. Next time we can name uh, Archon of Sun's Grace. is gonna do the deed. Do I just save? Nah, that's fine. Any good tips to uncurl foils? Actually, I don't know. That's a good question. I can't see who's attacking. Just this guy? No box. Well. Oh, feasting troll king, huh? I got reach. Always got to check. All right, Troll King. Hmm. Go 
Teferi Tomic Tranquil Cove. That's not terrible. We could also just play Elspeth. We have nothing in the graveyard to get back. So let's Teferi. Trust me. Just thank me later. Don't worry. I got you. Be a bad idea. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. Fit enough to survive. Yep, yeah, that seems fine. Well, now we have a thing to get back with our Elspeth. I can play Troll King. What can we do? Not care about it, I guess. Yep, that seems fine. Don't float. Man, if they have like some kind of like some kind of nonsense, I'm real sad. Okay. Um, no blocks. We got five cards. changes everything. <laughs> Alright. Well, this had only been seven, so you go to one, but, I mean, that seems pretty good to me. 
And Shadow of the Sky seems obviously good. Hushbringer, meh, Revoke, meh. Tomic just doesn't do anything. I have no idea why the Tomic's in the main deck. Pretty sure that would have been seven, but... Alright, let's look for some lands. Found one. Alright, it's a three, five. We drew for the turn, which makes it a four. We would have drawn from the attack, which makes it a five. And we would have drawn for a Tefri that makes it six. And then Tomek is two. So yeah, it's only eight. Oops. Oh yeah, we foolishly presume that they don't have Nissa because we didn't see any, but, I mean... He loved it. He was he was real happy about that. That's fine, I guess. That's a thing. So play this guy. Is it better to just keep... Uh, this guy's gonna be real big. Yeah, I think we have to keep so tiny up here. Because if they want to fight here, we just want to make it tiny. And make a Pegasus, of course. Why casting on our turn? Because I literally always forget about it. Literally, I just forget. This will be fun to watch. I'm pretty sure you can't get the Mirage Basics, which actually was really frustrating when I found out. Hmm. Well, that is sad times.
And that was a productive turn. Life link, my dudes. Next time we can go Archon Birth, get three tokens. Two tokens. Ten tokens. Man, these monocolor decks are something else. not legendary, right? I would have cried. Yeah, this is probably the game, right? <laughs> Ooh wee Archon of Sun's Grace. Remember when Rob was like, oh, I don't know if I like it. And we were like, Rob, you stupid idiot. Look at all those horse chickens, you ain't kidding. Actually, I should have thrown this guy in front too. It's just a free two life. I'm known for my excellent timing. Ooh wee! That was a hell of a that was a hell of a thing. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank4, patreon.com slash frank4. Now, you can even go to YouTube and use memberships. You can subscribe via the memberships function on YouTube, and uh, it's basically like a Twitch sub. Uh, there's a $2 bracket, a $5 bracket, and a $10 bracket for those feeling spicy and wanting to support the content that you guys get on YouTube. You can now do that on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this deck. It's interesting. It'll be in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Not sure how I feel about the Tomic in the main deck. Could just be in the sideboard. Um, I wish we uh, got to play this more frequently than none. But also, Bolas' Citadel seems like a card that uh, is really doing some stuff. I mean, you do have three Elspeth, death, uh, Conqueror's Death, and four Banishing Light to deal with it, which is nice. So that helps a lot. But um, still, the frequency of Bolas' Citadel in standard right now is kind of problematic. But... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.